Hey guys, it's Pat from Rain Country, and today I was going to build a doggy door to fit into a glass door enclosure so the dogs don't have to have us wearing out the roller bearings on the sliding glass door, which just seems like every two minutes they want out and every two minutes they want back in this time of year. So anyway, I got a little bit of research and development to do on the door before um, I go out and see what I have for materials to do the project. What I have to do is I need to take some measurements and one of those includes a wide load test for our little black dog that we have. But whatever she fits through, we know the black and white dog Cody will be able to fit through. That's going to be the size of the opening right there. Hey guys, where's the rats at? Go get the rats. Go get, go, the get, rats. go get your rats. Oh, she made it. Okay, come on back in here. Come on guys. Come here. Oh, good job. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay, wide load test done. So a little fat back black dog made it through the door. And uh, so I could go ahead and use a rough saw on a rough cut. Uh, eight inch wide board and 76 and a half inches long um, so we'll take a, uh, let's go out to the shop and see what I got okay we're out here at the shop and I found a 2 by 8 rough sawn cedar board that I think will be just fine for our project this looks a little ugly right now but I'm gonna go ahead and finish that out to where um, That'll fit in the door, and I'll plane, I'll plane it down, um, and then I'll cut a notch out in the bottom and hang a little door in there, and we'll see how well that works. Get a 76 and a half inch board out of this. Um, try to avoid all the cracks and everything. I didn't get the best select piece out of here. So that's a real straight board. So I mean, it's not 100% critical that I make these exactly square. Um, but this is a straight edge, so I'm not too worried about uh, this having to be perfect, you know, the, you know, the board to be cut perfectly square. It's going to be really close, and close enough for this project. Um, so I want to, uh, I'm going to double, double measure that door, door opening that I need, uh, just to make doubly sure that I cut this in the right spot. I'll square the board up. Uh, you know, you know, I'll cut this off the length. I'll run it through the planer, get it to the right thickness, and then I'll joint one end, and um, you know, and then come back over here and just make sure that the board is true and square. Now, being this is rough, son. It could be just a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner. This is two, or this is a one and seven eighths. Uh, so I got to set the planer up from one and seven eighths. And this is a clean board. Believe it or not, it doesn't have any dirt on it. So that's the other thing I want to look for. I also want to look for maybe a little rock or anything that's embedded in it or sand or dirt. Don't see any of that kind of stuff, so I'm ready to go ahead and run this through the planer. We're at uh, just a little bit better than an inch and a half. Uh, okay, here's my, oh, right at an inch and a half. Um, the door opening, the width is just about uh, an inch and uh, maybe five eighths. But I want a little, a little bit of wiggle room in there to where I get this in and out easy. So um, now I'm gonna run the one edge here through the, the joiner. I want to look down the horizon of the board here. I call it the horizon, but it's just the one edge of the board. And what I want to do is I want to have the uh, concave side facing down. Uh, I want to run this through the joiner. Um, this side is, is actually 
just barely concave. So I'm going to run this side through the joiner. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Uh, you don't want to run the convex side through or you won't get a nice flat edge by the time you're done because the, the fence, the flat fence is going to right against each edge of this thing as you're running it through there. And uh, if I had the convex side out, then uh, I would more than likely it'd have a difficult time trying to get a, uh, a straight edge on that. Now to ensure that I get a good square in, or from side to side measurement, so like in a rough sawing board, you may, you may experience that it might be wider on this side or narrower on this side, and on the other end it might be a different length. You know, this might be, you know, if it's a rough sawn board, this is measuring uh, an 8 inches and a 16th, and on the other end it's 8 inches and uh, an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to take the smooth side, run up against the fence on the uh, table saw here, Run that out to eight inches. So an eighth and a let's go for eighth and the sixteenth. Because the joiner takes off about a sixteenth of an inch. So I run my blade up to an inch and a half. A bit extra length or snipe on the ends here, uh, to where I can cut it down. I got it seventy six and three quarters right now. Uh, just left just enough on there to where I can square up the ends and verify that they're going to be nice and square. Like I said, it's not 100% critical uh, that we have perfectly square ends, but we're going to make them that way. When I was kind of grading this board here, I had to have a little bit of a crack right here. So I can, I'm, I'll be able to cut some of this crack out when I cut the dog door in here. So um, I gotta go take some measurements. I'm gonna come in on this side one inch. So I'm gonna go get me a square. This little guy up here for one inch. The other thing I have to determine is how tall to make the door. The inside of the door frame is an inch, and so I'm thinking I'm going to go maybe an inch and a quarter. Um, just to leave a little exposure on the outside because I want that, I want this to door, the little swinging door on the inside to be able to flip back and forth and not get hung up on the uh, the door casing. So anyway, ha, ah, let's go for an inch, inch, uh, uh, inch and an, an eighth. Um, that might be a difference between Luna making it in there or not. <laughs> You're up so the anyway, bottom. this is the part that actually goes into the track, and so I left a little bit to where it's gonna, the wood is actually gonna be over top uh, or come out of the track a little bit because we want the doggy door to to swing back and forth free. And not get hung up on the on the bottom there. I'll uh, go test fit this over in there and in, in the uh, doorway and go see if uh, the dogs can fit through it. Who's the rats? Go get them! <laughs> she didn't want to come back in that one time though. She's like, man, come on, Luna. Come here. She's humiliated. Look at her. Come here. Little oh, fat doggy. That's a good girl. Oh, yeah, she can do it. Here you go. This is where the door latch goes. 
and so I'm going to have to cut a notch out in the 2x8 in order to make that to accommodate um, you know so that so the 2x8 actually slips all the way in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the very edge of this the top edge of the uh, latch and the bottom edge of the latch okay so I put a notch on the top side where that elevation is and then the bottom side where that elevation is and I'll set this back in place now I know where to mark the board you know I can go just up a little bit and just lower below this line here and above this line so it'll fit in there nice and free without getting hung up I also need to know how deep to make the notch in the board and that's going to have to be 5 eighths of an inch so I measure measure into the where I want the uh, wood to match up to and that's going to have to be 5 eighths inch deep notch the door jam is an inch so anything below an inch is going to be subdued this notch will be hid I'm going to go Let's say an eighth inch each side of that line. It gives me, it gives me some float room there. When I shut the door, um, I put a little dimple or a little mark where you can see right in here uh, where uh, there's a screw, an adjustment screw in the doorway that kind of protrudes out on the door. So I want to make uh, like with the Forsner bit or something like that, just make a little indentation right here so the door is going to fit flat. Now up there where the door handle is, there's a couple of more of those um, screws and they're off to one side a little bit. So I'm going to make a little divot for those. Okay, now I'm going to go test fit it again. Come on, Nuggies. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, I took pity on the little white doggy, and uh, I took another three-eighths of an inch off each side of this so she wouldn't scrape running through the center of the heights. Of okay. Okay, I've got, I'm making the little centerpiece in here. And I'm gonna go just beyond making just a little piece of wood that runs through here. I'm gonna build them a little threshold. I need to cut out a notch here and a notch here. So this will be left in the block. And this is the part that's actually gonna fit into the door, into the bottom of the doorway frame. So when I cut this out, you'll probably be able to understand that a little bit better than I can explain it. I went ahead and got everything sanded down on the dog door here and made some trim pieces and some uh, different things that we needed to make in order to make this uh, project come together. Um, I didn't want to bore you with all the sanding and uh, different details that I did on this, but basically um, 
what I did is I I rounded or rounded or chamfered the corners on on this trim piece. Basically, what the, what's going to happen is that the door, uh, the sliding glass door, is going to actually kind of fit inside this little groove here. Um, this is going to kind of overlap the door some to hopefully cut down on some of the draft that is going to that we're going to be uh, experiencing having this open. Um, so that obviously goes right right in here and so the door is actually gonna butt up against the inside of the inside of this and uh, just just cut out some trim pieces to go around the dog door itself Hey guys, so the last couple of days I've just been adding a couple of coats of finish to this uh, dog door here. And I uh, got another coat on here. This is the second coat. I'm gonna let that dry. I think I might put a third coat on there. Um, but now what I need to do is work on the dog door. What I have marked out here is a piece of acrylic that is. Uh, the same size or just a little bit smaller than the door opening and I plan on putting a piece of piano hinge in here cleaning up the edges of this as I cut it out and uh, make it smooth I have uh, all the edges run through the joiner um, I removed the protective film that was on both sides of this and now I'm just going to go ahead and take a piece of sandpaper around the corners or the edges of this so it don't uh, cut anybody running in and out of the door. Okay. Now it's a matter of cleaning it up. Next thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to get a piece of piano hinge and, and rivet it on here and then I'll screw it to the top of the dog door on the wood part of the dog door and we'll see if the see if this is good enough to hang straight and where the dogs will learn to walk through it. Nothing too fancy. Just uh, just cleaned up the edges here to where they wouldn't cut. Now I'm going to take and find out where the uh, center is on here and figure out where I want to hang that. I want that to hang to where the very top of the door is obviously flush. Let's see, I got to make that to where the hinge will operate both ways and that will be like that. Not getting too scientific with this. I'm just gonna, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do, do this with a hand drill, and um, I just had these uh, rivets on hand. They're three sixteenths in diameter, eighth inch to quarter inch grip range, and I just went over there and got a rough, uh, just eyeballed the drill bit that I need to accommodate these holes because I don't want this thing slopping around any and I don't think once the grips are uh, the rivets are in there that I'm going to have a problem but trying to get them to fit uh, nice and tight the first time around so there isn't any chance of it uh, moving on me while it's hanging in the dog in the dog door frame so let's see 
I want to make sure I get this in right. So this side here I'll drill out. Just barely have to knock that corner off of there. We'll verify those fit in there. Okay, that's great. Now, I want to make sure that when I put these together, um, I'm not going to have a problem with this part here interfering with the door opening and closing. Now, I have to envision when I put these on here, that'll open free that way and open free that way to 90 degrees. So Now, the reason I'm not drilling out these other holes yet is because I can put this rivet in here and that'll keep me lined up for the next two holes that I drill. I'm going to put the head of the rivet on this side here, on the acrylic side, to help displace the pressure over top of this. Now, I could put washers underneath here to broaden that out a little bit, but I don't really have any room right next to the hinge for something like that. I think it's going to be just fine, by the way. Well, we'll see how that works. Um, I didn't account for the heads here. Um, I still think they can get through there, but I'm gonna see if it'll hang okay and give that a shot. Guys, go get Doug the rats. Your test. Go get the rats. Go get them. Go get the rats. They're go get the there. rats. Go get them. Oh, go get the rats. What, what is it? Go, go get the rats. Go get them. Go, go get the rats. Oh, there's a rat on there. Go get it. Oh, no, let's go get the rats. All right, now that the dogs have been using the door for a few days and are used to it, I want to show you how well it works. Oh, doggies, go get the rats. Go get the rats. There's rats out there. Go get the rats. Go get the rats, Luna. Go get the rats. Look at that. <laughs> so it's working great. And then right here, I just, ha I just grabbed this piece of plywood and I'll put it here if I don't want the dogs to go out for any reason. But for now, they can come and go as they please. And it sure saves me a lot of time in the day that I'm not having to open and close the door all the time. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that maybe you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.